Shall we rise? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Well, good morning, everybody, in this, this lovely autumn day. Um, today is the feast of some martyrs, martyrs in Japan, back around the year 1535. And then about 16 or 18 at that time, one of their leaders, a Lawrence Ruiz, was actually from the Philippines. But then there were Spanish and Japanese and French, and they were all martyred for the faith. So uh, we pray today, it's all over my hat, for the people who today suffer persecution. Great risk for blah, 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 blah. And that's true of many countries, many countries. Let us ask that God be with all those people, but with us too, as we call on his great mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Lamb of God who takes away our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are our Passover and our lasting peace. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, the same perseverance St. Lawrence Ruiz and his companions, serving your neighbor, persecuted for the sake of righteousness, are in your kingdom. We pray it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know that it is so, but how can a person be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in thousands of time. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength, who had stood him and remained unscathed. He moves the mountains before they know nothing, but whips them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come to me, I see him not. Should he pass, I am not aware of him. Should he come to me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him an answer or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. 
Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Day 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 upon you, O Lord, to ye stretch the dead day. Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus answered, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests. But the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. And Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. right smack in the middle of, of the book of Job. And I don't know, probably we, if we think about that book at all, we, we think about Job who was the guy who had everything taken away from him, his family, his kids, this, that. He wound up with nothing. It, kind of a test that God and the devil were doing. But he winds up with nothing except these crazy friends. If you had friends like that, forget about it. They had a solution for everything, and everything they said was stupid and crazy and didn't really help. Have you ever had a friend like that? They meant, well, but, you know, if they took a long coffee break, you'd be really happy. Well, so much for the friends of Job. He, he's strong enough to realize that they don't have the answer. And he knows that he doesn't have the answer. Why? Why is all this happening? And in the end, and he who God is compared to us, bone stretches out hands and treads upon the crest of the seas. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me? I see him not. Should he pass me by? Who can say, what are you doing? What really comes to this race by a man of the spirit there, that no matter what's happened, that I don't understand, no matter what's happening by way of illness and sickness and hurt, 
God is so great. Must be something good going to come of this. That God will create something out of all this. I'm going to skip ahead because tomorrow you're going to hear the end of this, except that tomorrow is the feast of St. Gabriel and St. Raphael and the Archangel Michael, and so we're going to have different readings. So this passage that we heard continues on after a while, and, um, and basically Job gets back at his crazy friends. He says, pity me, O you my friends. Why do you hound me as though you were, were, were divine and insatiably prey upon me? In other words, get out of here. But then he says, oh, that my words were written down, what he's come to realize about the mystery of God, with, with an iron chisel and lead that they were cut in rock forever. For as for me, I know Another translation, I know that my Redeemer lives. At the last, stand for, for, for the dust, whom I myself shall see, my own eyes, and not another's, shall behold him. And from my flesh I shall see God, my inmost being is consumed with longing. I know my Redeemer lives, whom I myself shall see. From my flesh I shall see God. Job comes to put things together. He didn't have all the answers today, but he truly believes at the end he will see God and it will all make sense. And he'll see this God who creates the entire universe and yet cares so much for him. It's just a beautiful passage. And I hope it could help us, especially in the hardest times when nobody else really has the answers and maybe some people are just making us crazy. Trust in God. Trust in the faith that he's put in your heart. From my flesh, I shall see God. My inmost being is consumed with longing. As God's people, God's daughters and sons, for the whole world, especially for places and people that are touched by wars, by violence, by dramas of nature, floods and fires, tornadoes, that God, in his incredible mystery of would embrace each soul, each person, and bring it to his vision. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for the church, for one another, that we are able to let go, 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 to, 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 to Christ, to love the Lord, to be his faithful servants. We pray to the Lord. In particular, we think of all these people down in Florida might prepare now for this Hurricane Ian. 
that people be wise and be safe and help each other. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all who are ill. You yourself, if you're not, 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 not. Pray in a special way for those who care for the sick each day. We've been asked to remember today John Fleming and Peyton Campbell. All those preparing for tests and surgeries. And those suffering around the world still from the pandemic. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all of our dearly departed. For those who hope to see God in their flesh face to face. We remember in a special way Tim Moynihan and Lillian Harris, Dr. Jim Pettit, and Mass is offered for Lucille LeBlanc. That all of them, safe in God's arms, would one day wait for us and welcome us. We pray to the Lord. And let us pray in quiet for the people, for the things closest to your own hearts this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord oh God, great is your wisdom and your might. And yet you show it most of all in the death of Jesus on the cross. Lift us up, open our eyes, and keep us strong. We pray it through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. And so, brothers and sisters, let us pray that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, Holy Father, the offerings we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your server, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyrs, said Lawrence Ruiz and his companions, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness, you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness to Christ the Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we were constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. 
holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he disciples. And he said, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is body which will be given up for you. And in a similar way, when the was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving him thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death, O Lord, 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 and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, to celebrate the memorial action, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of church. Ch ch together with, with, with us, our Pope and Leonard, our Bishop, and all those who move, 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 move. Remember also our brothers our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with the blessed apostles and all the martyrs and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us say together the prayer the Lord please us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we need to be always free from sin and sick from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles,
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the peace of us Lord be with your spirit. Peace, everyone. Blessing. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof. But only say the word, my soul shall be healed. And may the body and the blood of the Lord together unto everlasting life. the reception of, of Holy Communion. If you have difficulty walking, you could just stay where you are. And at the end, maybe raise your hand and we could come to you.
Let us pray. O oh God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. And we ask it through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Well, thank you, everybody. I'm so glad you could be be here today on this beautiful day, everybody. The gift shop is open. If you'd like to go and see things there and the rest of the ground, 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 the whole day. Okay. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our celebration is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.